Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. Okay, guys, we have eight minutes left. Is there any questions or deals that um, we want to talk about? Jim, let's, can you talk? Can yes, I can. can you oh, hear me? hi. Hi, Jim. Oh. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm, I'm great. It's a hat day for me. <laughs> well, not for you, but it's a hat day for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don, I know you're running out of time, so I have a question for you. Okay. About 14 years ago, we bought a piece of real estate uh, home, and we've rented it since in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, the current for, uh, fair market value is 300000 300000 mm -hmm. Uh We owe roughly 140000 on it. What's the terms of the underlying? Uh, four and a quarter, 30 years. Right. I think we're about eight years in. Nice. Okay. Uh, as uh, sellers, we are thinking about taking our home and selling it on the retail and offering uh, owner carry back. Okay. What's your reason for doing that? Just out of curiosity. Um, payments, receiving um, monthly payments, okay. supplement so for retirement. For investment. And instead of rent, you would like to have a note. Correct. Okay. What are you getting in rent? Our current rent is sixteen seventy five. Okay, and then after you after expenses and you, what's your monthly debt service on it? About nine hundred dollars, and that's PITM. Oh, that's great. So that's uh, so you put a little aside for reserves, ostensibly. Like I mean, if I was thinking about it, sixteen seventy five, I would go times sixty five percent. That that's probably too too squishy but even if you put 35 away you know 35 percent of your gross you still have a couple hundred cash flow on it minimum so. right yeah okay so now if you so someone can afford 1675 can most could what's taxes and what's t and i on it taxes and insurance uh roughly 250 250 roughly and do you think people can afford that? Could they afford like a nineteen hundred dollar payment on this, or would yeah. that rich people? My thoughts are somewhere between two and twenty one fifty. Okay, so twenty one fifty is what they can afford. Is this where you want to go? Before I assume what you want <laughs> to discuss. <laughs> By want to go, do you mean live there or what? Yeah, no, I I just mean uh, sometimes I assume. Like I'm just taking charge of a situation and I don't know your actual You're question. Fine. You're doing fine. Okay. So basically we know that for P and I, principal and interest, they can afford nineteen hundred if they can afford twenty one fifty overall for PITI. So Correct. that makes sense. All right. So and if if you could if you were gonna sell it for cash or cash to new loan, um, what would it go for? Would it go for the three hundred or a little less or it would probably need to be uh, 295 and then I've got uh, seller cost including commission of a realtor mm -hmm. so that's another at least five percent mm -hmm. uh, so my net now is probably closer to and I don't have my numbers in front of me probably about 275 so 275 minus the 140 so you got a hundred and something and then would you have capital gain or no okay so the biggest advantage of selling it to uh, cash to new loan would be, I could keep it under the 1031. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have to balance that against receiving monthly cash flow over time and paying capital on that. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm at right now. Do you, where do you live? I'm in California. Do you visit Arizona often? My daughter lives there, so yes. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah. So I guess it comes down to, so we'll just, so have you already run the numbers on this? If you, if it's 295 cash, you could probably sell it. If you do it on your carry, I don't know. I'll bet you could sell it for three, 310. I believe so too. Right. And then get a minimum of what down? 
What are you comfortable with? At least 10%. No less. That is the minimum, right? So, so then we so then we know 90% of that's going to be in a loan. You're, uh, and if they can put 10% down, what do you think someone will be built willing to pay? We know you're paying four and a quarter, so it should be more than that, right? So, but what do you think someone who could put 10% down would agree to? Let's just make up something. Uh, eight and a half. That might be a little high. Tell me what's more realistic. Because based on what they can afford, there's no solution. I'm going to go down to six and see if there's a solution. Okay. Okay, good. You know, I, I would guess, you know, for to, is the affordability thing that you have to, so in exchange for, you, you can't get this if you're going to get this. You know, if you're going to get your price, you're not going to get a super high interest rate, but you're getting a premium on the price, right? Perfect. So still okay, right? So um, 265 is close to 240. What is that? It's 22 year long, 23 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess if you wanted to even make it more, it's 25 years. You'd leave them a little room, a little wiggle room. Yeah. You know, something like that if they would agree to that. It's just, you know, what, what you need and what they'll agree to. But so then now you've been getting 1675 and paying expenses out of it. Now, now you're gonna get, you get 17. 1800. 1800 coming in, right? And you only owe 900 on the underlying. I mean, so you just increased your, your cash flow and and took a whole bunch of hassle off your plate and you're getting 900 bucks a month positive out of it and you're not getting calls for maintenance repairs and things like that right that's what i'm thinking right now yeah so and then where do we go next jim well so then you're going hey well what else could you do if you 1031 that 130 grand or whatever you would net right if you 1031 can you can you get is there another type of property you would want more uh, that would give you at least 900 a month positive cash flow? I'd have to go outside of Arizona. But here's, here's the question at hand. Okay. If I use that 1031 lump sum, mm -hmm. it might make more sense to invest in notes rather than in a single family residence. Your thoughts about that? I don't think you can 1031 out of a property into notes. Okay. So you are, you basically, you're going into a note or, you know, so you're, this installment sale will, will help you defer capital gains under normal circumstances. Please consult someone who's respectable, like an attorney or a CPA, not the note cleaner, right? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so, uh, but just typically speaking, right? So you, you are, you are into a note. You just created one instead of buying someone else's, you're creating your own. So you're in the note business. You're in the note business. Voila. There you go. You know, it's right there in front of you like right. right there so but let's just look at that you know that spread if you get 900 a month oops not 9,000 I'm just going to see what your yield is going to be okay just for kicks and giggles okay right if you're going to get 900 a month how much of your own money is tied up in this deal your cash how much cash do you have tied up in this deal I would say over the last 14 years, including expenses to renovate or repair and down payment, I put us at $50,000. How much? $50,000. $50,000? That's it. Freaking kidding me? Yeah. Why would you buy somebody else's note when you can get 21% return on your investment on a property you already know and are comfortable taking back if you had to? You're not going to get, it's tough to get 21% on a first position performing. I'm going to tell you this. You're going to slam what you're, you're, you're doing phenomenal. That is phenomenal. 21%. Anyone else wants 21%? <laughs> you know, we, we heard that we, that with Mary, Mary Ann's uh, deal, they, they're getting 10% on uh, basically chattel loan. You're getting 20%, 21%, right? Can you, can you see how juicy that could be if it fits in with your overall picture? No, I agree. It does. So the, the risk you're going to have is 
what if they call the loan due and you have to have contingencies and who's doing what if they call the loan who's doing what so that's just the sort of disclosure you need to make and decisions that need to be chatted with um you know with your buyer you know i'm not even sure how to begin that conversation so well maybe. you're a realtor knows how to should know how to do this there there's actual in in the realtor forms there's disclosures for, on their seller financing disclosure at least in the california paperwork and i think in the nevada paperwork although i'm not a realtor i gave up my broker's license that i'm just only uh only an investor so but um there's there's already paperwork in there uh for these types of disclosures generally most um brokerages will know what you're talking about okay unless unless they're a big franchise that says no 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 we don't let our agents do anything with owner financing especially not subject to a wraps ah you know so you have to you just have to see what, what they will be but this it's it's a one or two page form generally okay yeah so fantastic jim that was a fantastic wow we've had a really great day of, of did that help a little bit yes, it did it did thank you don okay well thank you and uh once again um you know what but go out there and create financial solutions from one mom and pop to another. And I hope to catch you around the kingdom uh, either next time on our call or uh, at the Property and Paper Summit if you are so motivated to come. Thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. Take care. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Virtual Coffee with Dawn Rickabaugh. For more, please visit notequeen.com. Basically, let's get down to the basics. What is a note? It's a it's a promise to pay an IOU. I I owe you this money, and I'm going to pay it back over these terms. Now, in real estate, and ideally, in if you're making a loan, you have a security instrument. That means if you don't keep your promise, you're going to lose the ass. It's it's secured by an asset that can be retrieved and sold to get the lender out of their financial.